Now there's no question, times are uncertain right now and a lot of people are on difficult spots and they're trying to figure out what to do. But certain people are looking at this recession that in my eyes is already here, but the worst is yet to come for an opportunity. This video is designed to help you guys prepare that'll get you guys into a spot so when the opportunities should come, whether they're here now or whether they're going to come further in the future, you can take some actionable steps to implement into your financial lives to take advantage of the opportunities that this recession will provide. Now, before I begin, I want you guys to recognize something. I'm not trying to talk at you or down when I'm talking about this. When I started entrepreneurship, when I was 17, 18, actually 16 years old, started flipping shoes and then selling t-shirts, like I didn't know anything about money. And frankly, it took me a $80,000 a year, which at the time when I was 18 years old seemed like a boatload of money. It took me that type of income to realize how to screw things up. Needless to say, I spent a lot of money that I didn't need to spend at that time and lived uh, beyond my means and above my current income level for a lifestyle per se, how to learn. And so specifically for you folks that are not necessarily young, but maybe starting to dive into making money for the first time. I think that this recession is gonna be extremely important because it's gonna be, in my opinion, a winter, what we call an economic winter, a long period of time of negative GDP or slow GDP growth in the United States that's gonna cause us to not have as explosive growth and not be as easy in business or as easy as investments. And there's a couple things that I believe you can do to grow in this recession. Now, the first step in expanding in a recession goes by the old statement that all of you guys have heard. The rich get richer. I know, drove me nuts too. It's ridiculous, right? But this is the truth. It's because in times of economic downturn, the majority of people are in trying times financially. In fact, if you guys didn't already know this, 60% of Americans are currently living paycheck to paycheck. 31% of Americans making a quarter million dollars a year are living paycheck to paycheck. More income is the answer. I realize in your finance books and in school, what do they teach you? Save a couple bucks on this Starbucks, don't buy water bottles, bring your own water. Guys, doing that's gonna save you maximum a couple hundred dollars a month versus learning a lifetime income skill that maybe makes you a couple thousand dollars a month and you don't have to worry about it. So my first step is sell something. Find something that you wanna sell. For me, I realized in the last 24 months that energy deregulation will be the biggest transfer of wealth and the biggest income creation tool for my life. I.e., I started a solar company and provided an opportunity for others all over the world to sell solar with me. We've already paid out over $5 million in commissions this year alone. Those people learned how to sell whether they still had a job or not, and an average commission in solar is four to $5,000. Imagine if you were able to sell one or two of those a month, an extra, I don't know, four, five, eight, ten thousand dollars $10,000 a month. You think that would help you? So step one is sell something. The second step I want you to really take advantage of as you start making income is investing right now. There's a common question. When is the best time to invest? The answer is now. There's no better time to invest now. It doesn't matter if you're listening to this video the day I upload it, or if you're listening to this video seven years after I've uploaded it. The answer is now. The problem with most people is they are always waiting for the perfect moment to invest. And then a moment that was perfect stops, and then it moves forward, and then it's gone, and they no longer have it. There was a lot of people that looking back in the COVID crash of 2020 said, man, I wish I would have invested. My answer for you is why didn't you? If you had the money, even a few thousand bucks, why didn't you? Normally the answer is because people thought, well, the market could have gone lower. No shit, Sherlock. It always can go lower, but it always can go higher. Look at the historical returns of the S&P 500, 10, 11% every single year. Yeah, there's some years that are 20, 30%, and there's some years that are negative 10, 20, 30%. But on average, you're investing into growth, 10, 11% a year on your money. So my message is invest now, literally right now. 20% of your income at minimum should be sliding directly over to an investment account on a standard index fund or a Roth IRA or for business owners, a SEP IRA, something to get your money into a long-term play, an index you're not gonna touch for many, many years, 10, 20, 30, 40 years, and let it ride. Step number three is something that I do personally, separating myself from my money. Now, what does that mean? A lot of people have one bank account. 
and they can log in and they can see all of their money and it's all available right now at the swipe of a card or an ATM or cash from the bank. What I do is I park the majority of my money at online banks, banks with no physical branches. The one that I use is called Ally Bank. And the reason I do this, guys, is there is no debit card attached to that account. There's no physical branch I could go in and get money from. I separate myself from the money so it's very hard to get. So on a Friday night when things sound good to go grab the money out, I don't. I separate myself from it. And secondly, during times of recession, which right now we're not technically seeing a massive downturn yet, but right now as the Federal Reserve is raising interest rates, you know what else is raising? Savings accounts, APR. Savings accounts, APY. The yield that you're getting from your account. Now, why is that important? Right now you're getting over 2% with Ally on a savings account. That means if I have $100,000, I'm gonna get paid $2,000 a year just for having my money in that account. Now that might not sound like a lot, but it's more than your standard checking accounts a lot of you guys probably use for banking. Now, step number four is very simple and you've heard it a bajillion times on the internet, I'm sure, but after you've made some money, you've invested for retirement, and then you've separated yourself from money, you have to stack some. Now, I'm not gonna try to sugarcoat it. You need to stack at least $100,000. You need to have at least $100,000 in a separate bank account to make something happen at a big level. And that's not a big level, let's be honest, but it's gonna at least get you going. When you're going into this and you separate yourself from money, now you gotta go find passive cash flow. Now I'm biased and I would say go find some real estate deals. Now this could be more active or it's a real estate development project such as the one that you guys have seen on my channel. You can click in the description or click around the screen to watch one of those videos where that's more active, but that's just money I invested and I wait about 18, 24 months depending on how long the project takes and I get more money back. And we'll talk about all the financials of that deal once it's closed. Or you could buy a home to rent it out. Or you could get into a syndication with other people that are buying apartment buildings and get passive income. Your goal is to take whatever amount of money you're making. Let's say you're making $5,000 a month. And you want to make enough money to go replace that income with passive income. And now you're only spending passive income and all of your active income goes to build that nest egg. And pretty soon you're living fully off passive income. Now granted, this information takes years, not five years, not 10 years, probably 20, 25, 30 years. But if you're listening to this specifically, if you're in the, uh, my age, 26, a younger age demographic, I believe you can get ahead. So by the time you're 45, 46, you're gonna be in a good spot. Where if you look around today, go out there and chat with your people you know that are 45, 46, maybe it's some of your parents. Think about, are they in that spot? Did they do that? Yes, okay, follow suit. No, okay, find somebody else that did. Now the last step is something that, again, I mentioned at the beginning of the video, is really hard to avoid, specifically when you first start making money. If you're like me, you're constantly looking for more ways to put more cash in your pocket. Steady is an app of over 5 million members with over $15 million of cash given in form of income boosters, rewards, and incentives. Steady is an app that I personally use to track my own income, but also a great place to add little sources of income. An example of a great income booster that Steady has right now on their app is getting $20 from Acorns. By simply depositing a $5 deposit into my brand new Acorn account, Steady will send me an additional $20 just by doing so. Through these partnerships that Steady has made, it is giving us great opportunities to add extra sources of income. Secondly, by going to the work tab of the app, you can notice that I can find plenty of opportunities and jobs inside of Steady to give me a better chance of finding the job that works for me. So whether or not you are somebody that is trying to add additional income, track income they're making, or find a brand new job or just trying to get small little boosters here and there steady is the app for you trustworthy easy to use user friendly and for me personally it is the first income tracking app that i have ever used because i use multiple banks and smaller banks with multiple sources of income that is super hard to track and guess what within five minutes steady was able to get it all in line for me so all you got to do is go over to the app store whether or not you're on android or iphone it doesn't matter and look up steady it's a purple bag you see Shaq's beautiful face and download it today. I promise you guys it's going to help you track your income and maybe just potentially put some more money in your pocket. It's called lifestyle inflation. Lifestyle inflation is when you're making 50000 a year every year from your job and you're used to living on that. But suddenly you get a raise and it's a massive one and now you're making $70,000 a year. And instead of taking that arbitrage of $20,000, probably going to be more like $14,000, $15,000 after tax, Instead of taking that money 
and using it wisely towards one of these plans like we talked about, towards passive income or investing, a lot of people will use that money to inflate their lifestyle. Suddenly the food they eat is a little bit better. The clothing they wear is a little bit better. They're no longer sitting in economy, they're sitting in comfort or first class. Suddenly their, their, their cars that they're getting financed maybe are a little bit better. And now instead of spending and living off of that $50,000 a, a year income, now they're off of a $70,000 a year income. And they haven't really gotten ahead in the first place, they just made their lifestyle and material belongings a little bit better. So guys, realize this, the recession technically right now, in my eyes is here. Now obviously, it has to be declared, but two quarters of negative GDP, we've only seen one time in history where we had this, and it wasn't a recession. So I have a lot of urgency towards you saying we are in a recession. However, I don't believe the worst is here yet. I don't think we've, we've experienced the real downturn yet. I don't believe capitulation has hit in the market yet, which means you still have an opportunity. You still have a chance to save more money, make more money, and get that money to work and get some of that saved so when the future opportunities come along, you can take advantage. When the discounts in the crypto market, the stock market, the real estate market come along, you can buy that dip. Now, I hope this helps you. Please comment down below what you learned. Click the like button if you want more videos like this. Of course, click subscribe. We're trying to hit 20,000 subscribers, and we'll see you on the next video.